Welcome to uh, this uh, session of uh, interviews. Uh, my name is David Haimovich. I am the president and founder of Quality Resources International. And we have the pleasure of having uh, Dr. Thomas, who is the president of the Asia Hospital Federation. Welcome, Dr. Thomas. Thank you, David. Pleasure for me too. Uh, I wanted to just ask you a few questions um, so that we could uh, get your opinion on sure. uh, on our conference. Uh, tell me something. Um, what do you think of uh, Hospital Management Asia Conference? I think the Hospital Management Asia Conference has become the leading management conference uh, in the region. And uh, I have been attending every single year and I've only seen it growing and which is a very encouraging trend because the participants who come find benefit in what they get out of HMA and a lot of pains are taken into selecting the right speakers, the right topics and uh, this has given HMA such a lot of credibility and uh, I'm amazed at how the organization, the uh, organizers are able to bring together such a team of world experts from all over the world. Although this is held in Asia, mainly the Asian countries are the bigger participants. But this is becoming not just for Asia, it's becoming a global management conference. And I think this is something which will continue to grow. They will have a problem very soon that they will not be able to find a venue big enough to accommodate the huge numbers which turn up year after year. And uh, I think it's, it's, it's something fantastic, which I'm very proud to be part of. It has been excellent. I agree with you. Yes, I, thank you for that uh, very well uh, put answer. Uh, Dr. Thomas, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the Asia Hospital Federation and how you came about um, being part of HMA, how your organization benefits from HMA, and how can HMA and its constituents benefit from your organization? If, if you look at the countries in Asia, most of these countries have got their national hospital associations. Some of them are private hospital associations, some of them are both private and public coming together. And these hospitals associations have got together and formed what is called the Asian Hospital Federation. And it's not really Asia, it's actually Asia Pacific because it includes countries like Australia, New Zealand, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Japan, Korea, Philippines, Indonesia, and, and Mongolia, and recently we had Myanmar who joined us, Vietnam has joined us. India is showing an interest and uh, the, the coming together of these countries has given us such a powerful voice in the region especially when the Asian region is seen as the growing hub for medical care globally today. It is a huge market, yes. Yeah. And uh, because of that, uh, the Asian Hospital Federation found that the hospital management in Asia is a, a significant partner for its aims to promote the different management styles to address the various challenges which are facing the hospitals in the region and also a platform for us to understand how can the different associations tap on the expertise or the experiences of other countries mm -hmm. and uh, work together to further enhance the capabilities of the region. And this is something which has attracted such a lot of people to come here. We've got big delegation from Philippines, big delegation from Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Today we see uh, uh, 
was something not seen before a delegation from China so enthusiastic. And all these teams together have found this beneficial and they have said that we want to be part of this. So the Asian Hospital Federation and its board believes that this is a partnership which we will want to continue with and something which can benefit our members and uh, that way uh, we feel that the Asian hospitals uh, will become better for the region and for the global health care scene. Well, I, I, exactly what you're saying is, is basically that HMA is embodying the globalization of healthcare exactly. uh, because of all the different uh, delegates that are coming from not just the Asia Pacific region, but they're coming from other parts of the world too. I must also add that uh, yes, we have delegates from the Asian countries. We have speakers from around the world. Yes. Speakers who are carefully chosen to address topics and issues which are significant for our hospitals in the region. But what I am also aware of interacting with some of the speakers is even the speakers who are world leaders and opinion leaders for healthcare around the globe, for accreditation, for patient safety, they themselves learn such a lot from the experiences we've gone through, the routes we've taken, and this has helped even the speakers to speak highly of our region. And that is something which HMA has helped us to also project the healthcare in the region globally we believe that this is something which will just continue to enhance our reputation of providing quality, safe and affordable care uh, for the whole country, whole, whole world. Right. Truly a forum for everyone to learn. That's right. Excellent. Well put. Thank you very much.